Hello fellow traders, in this session, we will be looking at the top 3 non-index stocks requested by some of our subscribers. These stocks are Tech, Dito and Macroasia. The first stock in our list is Tech. In this daily chart, we can see that it formed a symmetrical triangle pattern over the last 2 months. Tech even broke the resistance at 8.3 convincingly as supported by huge volume as seen in the graph. We can see that it pulled back at the level where it previously broke out. Should tech continue to rally, expect the levels of resistance to be at 8.60 followed by 9.10. The next resistance after these levels will be at 9.60 and 9.90. Relative strength index is currently at 57. We can say that there is still room to the upside. If tech continues to defy gravity, the next levels of resistance in the short term will be at 10.12 followed by 10.36 and 10.70. If tech fails to rally, expect levels of support to be at 8.30 followed by 8.05. The next support after these levels will be at 7.84 and 7.50 which lies at 78.6% for Bonacci. If this stock pushes to go lower, expect deeper levels of support at 7.05 followed by 6.30. Our second featured stock for today is Dita. This has been the darling stock for most traders for the past few weeks. In this daily chart, we can see that Dito formed an inverse head and shoulders pattern. An inverse head and shoulders is similar to the standard head and shoulders pattern, but turned upside down. Upon completion, it signals a bull run. Traders typically enter into a long position when the price rises above the resistance of the neckline, as seen in the volume graph. A suitable profit target can be estimated by measuring the distance between the bottom of the head and the neckline of the pattern. By using that same distance, Traders predict how far price may move in the direction of the breakout. Once the profit target level is reached, traders usually sell and take profits which drive the price lower, as indicated below. If Dito resumes its upward movement, we should see levels of resistance to be at 2.85 followed by 3.05. If the bulls are strong enough, we expect Dito to breach 3.16, followed by the next levels of resistance at 3.25 and 3.35 in the short term. If Dito fails to rally, expect levels of support to be at 2.66 followed by 2.55. The next support will be at 2.45 which lies at 50% Fibonacci. If the bears push this stock lower, Expect the next levels of support to be at 2.35 followed by 2.22. Dito's relative strength index is currently at 69. The third stock for this session is Macroasia. In this daily chart, we can see that this stock formed a bullish divergence, as indicated in the relative strength index graph. A bullish divergence occurs when prices fall to a new low, while an oscillator fails to reach a new low. This situation demonstrates that bears are losing power, often a bullish divergence marks the end of a downtrend. If this stock pushes higher, we should expect to encounter levels of resistance at 6.85 followed by 7.45. If Macroasia breaks the resistance at 7.45, we should see 8.10 followed by 8.50 and 8.80. Relative strength index is currently at 65. If this stock fails to rally, expect immediate levels of support at 6.45 followed by 6.15. If the bears are strong enough, we should see the stock touch the levels of support at 5.80 followed by 5.35 and 4.80. In summary, both Tech and Dito are in an uptrend in the short term, while Mac is still establishing an uptrend. Remember, always practice good money management skills, 
and only trade once you have calculated the risks. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Candlestocks to get updated on the latest stock picks every week.